Hey everyone, it's Shaft from Nature Box Pet Emporium. Long time no see. I know it, it's been too long. We've been really busy and I haven't been making a whole lot of the YouTube videos. But today I'm going to make one because we have something that looks like a pile of trash in the store. It's not a pile of trash. Let me tell you about it. So before we get into what this thing is, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you like this video. And if you have any questions, comment below. That way I can answer those questions and you can keep up to date with this here project because it is a pretty cool one. So let's just go ahead and dive into what the heck this is. So here we are on our aquatics half of the store. If you don't know, if you haven't watched other videos, <clears throat> excuse me. We have the reptile half of the store, our checkout, small animals, and aquatics are on this side. So all of our live stuff, some plant tanks, these are plant tanks. But what we have here is a massive, so this is probably 12 foot wide by 5 foot deep uh, fish tank. Except it's not for fish. This is going to be Wilbur's new tank. If you are not sure who Wilbur is, Wilbur is our Fly River Turtle. So Wilbur lives up front in a 150 gallon tank right now and he has outgrown it and he needs some new digs. So boy howdy, do we have a new set of digs for Wilbur. This is a uh, 750 gallon, basically trough. It's a fiberglass tank. Um, with a viewing window in it and uh, we've definitely gone all out on this uh, <laughs> this here project we've hired a local company to come in and do it for us because uh, we just don't have the time to take care of this ourselves so on the back side you can see how all of this is going together it's basically a giant paper mache project this is the tank <clears throat> it's a fiberglass tank um, we have a hundred and fifty gallon sump underneath we will have two pumps, dedicated heaters. It has a waterfall that goes up to the top that's gonna to trickle out into there. Inside the tank itself, let's see, show you. Inside the tank itself, we're getting um, some fake backgrounds and some fake like uh, mangrove and whatnot to go inside to make it look really good. Um, but this is, this is about it, you know? So again, this is just like good old paper mache. So the, the company's put a few coats of, uh, of concrete on it. They're making a real mess of the store, but you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so they're putting the, uh, the coats of concrete on here. And after that, then they're gonna come back and put like a skim coat, a thin, uh, a thin skin on it. So it doesn't look like just a bunch of blobs of concrete. Um, then they're going to come back, like this is the colored concrete. And they're gonna come back and add more color onto it and obviously finish down here so that it doesn't look like uh you know somebody's some kid's fort or something so that's what we have going on here at the store a massive mess which when it's all said and done will be a uh you know a zoo caliber enclosure that is going nowhere hopefully wilbur will get along with uh, other residents in there because it would be kind of a shame to have just a, a turtle in a 700 gallon tank, but Wilbur, Wilbur may prefer it that way. So with all that being said, I gotta get to work. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. It's Thursday and these guys aren't coming back until Monday. So I'm gonna pick up some of their mess for them. And uh, yeah, hopefully everybody has a wonderful weekend. Hopefully had a good Labor Day. And like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you stay tuned for updates on what we got going on. See ya.